this message has been coming through for quite some time with no realization that it was a message. So, myself, uh, it started with uh, plumbing problems. And then suddenly, a friend of mine had pro plumbing problems, spiritual friend. And then another one. And then another one. And then another one. And I'm like, okay, you know, what's happening here? And it still wasn't, you know, and trying to put it, put it together, like, what's the universe trying to say? You know, what's going on? And then my son, the older one, he's not really awakened, but he's so aware, says, man, I'm feeling so drained. What a, is anybody else feeling this way? And it was like, the message that was coming through is not specific, but it's very easy to, uh, okay, maybe not easy, but uh, it's, it's, they're using the metaphor of plumbing so that way to hit a whole bunch of issues instead of just one. And so I sat in silence for a while and I thought about it because I was thinking about like what I had going on. And so mine was that the sink kept backing up. So that's like a blockage. Well, most recently I was speaking to someone and they had said to me that I have some imbalance or blockage in my throat chakra because my heart, you know, because of this, that, whatever. And I'm like, okay, so there's like a parallel metaphor. So then I was thinking about, okay, so what about my other friend? My other friend had a, um, like an overflow, you know, an overflow. I had to look up these words because I wasn't sure about plumbing words. So I looked up all the plumbing words and then all the definitions and I th sat and thought about it for a while and like my one friend had overflow problems so overflow is like when rainwater comes or when a, when a major flushing in of water comes and it's too much and so it like backs up right so wow that was exactly perfect for this person because we had just been talking about how they had been receiving so many downloads and feeling like overwhelmed and I kept saying to them uh, you need to ground yourself you need to ground yourself because when you ground yourself you can anchor these lessons these downloads into your existence better right and then another person recently was having leaky pipes leaky faucets and you know to the point where they couldn't figure out how the heck to tighten it. Like, they kept tightening it, tightening it, and still nothing was working, you know? Had plumbers out and everything. And I was thinking about that person, and I started questioning, asking questions, because my theory was kind of coming in. And I said, uh, hey, I said, so in your life, you know, would you say uh, in your emotional field, in your body because um, they're a nurse, I said, do you think you have leakages of giving away your energy? Do you feel like maybe you're not keeping yourself ship shape, like too, not tight enough, you know, not in awareness of what's coming and going? And maybe you have some, some leaks, you know? And so we sat and we thought about it, we thought about it, we thought about it. And sure enough, there were some situations in his life where he was allowing power his power to leak out and you know what I mean so I mean these were all metaphors so I'm going to say some of the words and then you need to then the messages pull them into your existence this is like a learning lesson this is a big message for like all light workers you know this was the way it was coming in use the plumbing metaphor. Okay, so when too much flow comes in and it has nowhere to go, it's called a backup. So that would be like, say, if you got downloads, say if you're working somewhere and you don't have 
a good set of tools for protections and stuff you know some people go into like white lighting themselves before they go into work some people do like like when I used to work it with the public and I would be constantly touching people and everything on my way to work I was walking into like an armor suit you know what I mean just visualizations to make your you more you know you're stronger right okay uh, maybe too much flow coming in could be you know you're allowing too much from say like your children okay you know there should be boundaries yes your children are your life your loves this and that but yet there still should be boundaries right too much flow back up right so too much flow coming in and then you get backed up and then it's got nowhere to go so then maybe you have to go and take time to be by yourself to dissipate it to work through it da da da, da. okay um drained i'm drained why are you drained why are you drained are you are your spiritual practices uh not enough um when you go to work are you just giving 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 and letting everybody take from you and then when you leave work you're just a shell you know are you 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 can what you can come at that a million ways you know there's healers that can suggest to you you could either feel like you have the unlimited flow you can have where you have boundaries and protections you can make sure that you do your self-care and self-love that keeps filling your cup up enough constantly so that you can be this person that you know or maybe it's just putting protections and boundaries on you. What are you allowing people to come tell you, do to you, say to you? You know, it's one thing to go to work, to go do whatever, you know, this this is for drained. Um, like, say you go to work and you're a good worker. And the minute you do something wrong, you start, you know, feeling down on yourself. And then... Your boss comes along and goes, oh, you did this, blah, 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 even though you were an amazing worker because you allow them to say that to you. Instead, you should always stand strong and be like, yes, I made a mistake, but I fixed it. Yes, I made a mistake, but that's one in a million. You know, like don't allow people to hurt you, take from you, feel so bad, make you feel bad, you know. That's not allowed anymore in this new earth. Like, it's okay for people to correct other people, but it's not okay for people to take away people's, you know, it's not okay to be mean, you know? It's not okay to be ignorant and not nice, you know? All right, uh, what else? Blockages, right? I was just talking about blockages, clogs. What about debris? What about buildups of toxins in your body? Maybe you've build up of toxins. Think about what you're eating, what you're ingesting, what you're um, hearing, what you're seeing. What are you watching? You know, um, let's see what others are. Overflow, uh, waste. Waste is another word. What, um, what are you wasting? Are you wasting your uh, gifts? Um, are you taking in waste, you know, uh, flushed, flushed, um, flushed could be, well, let me get back to that one, uh, leak and leakage, stagnant, stagnation, like stagnant pond, right? What are we allowing to be stagnant in our lives? Outlet, do we have proper outlets? How are our outlets flowing? You know, do we have good in input and output? How about siphon? siphoning is somebody siphoning from us or are we siphoning from others is our intentions pure so see it's a whole plumbing thing that was coming through because a ton of my friends and people i know all of them have been having plumbing issues it's crazy that and car issues but i haven't gotten into the car issue thing yet but yes so that was the message and i hope it's well received and i hope you like it and there's way more to it if you want to talk about this more in depth, book some time with me. You know, I have all kinds of time available and I just need to, you know, make that time with you, you know, for my own benefit so that I come to you in the purest way and that I can help you in the best way possible. Oh, right. I was going to come back with um, the flushed thing. 
Maybe I'll type about it in the comments because it's kind of in, in depth. But if you think about it, that would be twofold. That would be having to do with like the flow of your actual body, you know, your, your actual body systems, like thinking about like how is your, your blood, your, that flushing through you. And then flush, because think about like when you become flushed, right? And then also, how are you disposing of, how are you getting rid of certain things in your life? How are you receiving and how are you, you know, giving away or how are you disposing? That's some of the words. I mean, there was so many more. I just, um, those were the quick ones. And like I said, book some time if you want to talk more about it. We could talk about what is going on with your plumbing and we could see what the parallel is because this truly is like some some no joke uh metaphors and it's like the universe is hitting these light workers up against hitting them in the head like, "Hey, come on." You know, um, this is what you've been farting around with and you haven't done anything about it yet. And, and it's, and it's time. It really is time.